In this video, we'll talk about the spectral decomposition theorem, which states that any normal operator m on a vector space V is diagonal with respect to some orthonormal basis for V, and conversely, any diagonalizable operator is normal. So, before we start the proof of this theorem, let's define some of the terms involved in this theorem. Let's define what are normal operators. So, any operator m dagger m which commutes with m m dagger are called normal operators unitary operators hermitian operators symmetric orthogonal projection etc are all examples of a normal operators and they follow this condition now we know what are diagonal matrix a matrix with non diagonal elements to be zero are called diagonal matrix and any operator represented by a diagonal matrix is called a diagonal operator. Eigenvalues of a diagonal operator are the diagonal elements and eigenvectors of the diagonal operator are the standard basis vector. For example, let's take a diagonal operator represented by a diagonal matrix A, B, C, 0, 0. So, these diagonal elements are our eigenvalues of this matrix and they can be represented as a times 1 0 0 plus b times 0 1 0 plus c times 0 0 1 so we can say that eigenvectors of a diagonal operators are standard basis vectors another thing is diagonal operators are idempotent that is d square equal to d so two states psi i and psi j are orthogonal if the inner product psi i psi j is equal to 0 and for them to be orthonormal their norms or their inner products must be equal that is psi i inner product must be equal to 1 psi j inner product must be 1 and they must be orthogonal and any set of vectors that follows this condition are called our orthonormal vectors and if this set of vectors form a basis of the given vector space they are called the orthonormal basis so we saw what are normal operators what are diagonal operators and orthonormal basis now before starting with the proof of this theorem let's see what is eigen decomposition let a be a n cross n matrix and lambda 1 to lambda n be its eigenvalue with v1 till vn vectors corresponding to be the eigenvectors so this matrix a can be decomposed into three matrices given by p which is the matrix having the column as the eigenvectors v1 v2 and d which is a diagonal matrix whose entries are the eigenvalues of this matrix and p inverse which is the inverse of this matrix p such that a is equal to p d p inverse so this is the eigen decomposition of a matrix a now spectral decomposition is a special case of eigen decomposition where the eigenvectors vi's are also orthogonal to each other that is in spectral decomposition we can decompose a matrix A which can be a symmetric Hermitian or any of the normal matrix such that A is equal to P D P inverse here D is again the diagonal matrix with entries of this eigenvalues but P which has columns of eigenvectors is orthogonal so if P is orthogonal it follows the property of orthogonal matrices that P inverse is equal to P transpose therefore in spectral decomposition we can write A as P D P transpose therefore A can be decomposed into three matrices P D P transpose such that P is this matrix D is the diagonal matrix and P transpose would be this matrix so if you multiply this, we will eventually get lambda 1 v1 vector 
times v1 transpose plus lambda 2 v2 vector v2 transpose till lambda n vn vector vn transpose so in spectral decomposition we can write a as summation i 1 to n lambda i vi vi transpose and if we generalize it to any normal matrix a is equal to summation i 1 to n lambda i vi vi dagger since dagger is our conjugate transpose so in summary eigen decomposition is a more general technique that can be applied to any square matrix whereas spectral decomposition is a special type of eigen decomposition that is applicable to normal matrices and in case of real vector space it is applicable to symmetric matrices now let's try to prove the spectral decomposition theorem so let v be a n dimensional complex vector space and let m be a normal operator on this vector space let lambda be the eigenvalue of m and let p be the projector operator operating onto the lambda eigenspace similarly let q be the projector operator operating on the orthogonal complement of v which we can give as v perp now aside from the proof let's see what are projector operators eigenspace and orthogonal complement so a projector operator or projection operator is a linear operator p that projects a vector onto a subspace it also follows these three properties and in terms of state vector we can write our projector operator as psi i psi i in outer product representation such that pi operating on psi i will give us psi i and pi operating on any straight phi will give us lambda i psi i such that lambda is equal to psi i phi also our identity operator i which can be written as in outer product form as psi i times psi i is equal to summation i pi so this result we'll use later now let's see what is eigen space it is a subspace that is spanned by all the eigenvectors similarly what are orthogonal complement so it is a subspace v perp for our vector space v such that it contains every vector that is perpendicular to our vector space v now based on these three definitions we can say that projector on eigen space implies that p operating on an eigen state vi will give us vi and p operating on a state xi which is not a eigen state will give us zero similarly projector on orthogonal complement implies that q operating on a state v perp will give us the same state since this state belongs to the v perp orthogonal complement subspace and q operating on any xi state will give us zero since xi does not belong to v per now after defining these two projector operators we can write m which is a normal operator belonging to the v vector space equal to p plus q times m p plus q since the operation p plus q is nothing but our identity operator we can write m as p plus q m p plus q now there are many ways we can prove that p plus q is our identity operator one of the proof is on the screen you can pause the video to check the entire proof 
now by expansion m can be written as m equal to pmp plus pmq plus qmp plus qmq now we know p operating on m gives us lambda times p where lambda is the eigen value in the eigen space which implies pmp will be equal to lambda p square and since p and q are our projection operator p square will be equal to p which will be equal to lambda p also qmp will be equal to 0 as m takes the subspace p into itself and q is the orthogonal complement of the vector space so qmp will be equal to 0 such that mp which is equal to pm which is equal to lambda p and this lambda p is perpendicular to q so qmp equal to 0 implies that pmq can also be written as 0 so now we are left with m equal to pmp plus qm q since p and q are projectors they are hermitians therefore pmp is equal to pmp dagger and similarly qm q is equal to qm q dagger from the properties of projection operator now based on these property it implies that since m is our normal operator that is m m dagger is equal to m dagger m and p and q are our projection operators which implies that pmp pmp dagger will be equal to pmp dagger pmp and similarly it applies to qmq also so we can say that pmp and qmq are also normal so m is normal these two are also normal now in order to prove the theorem we have to prove that these two vectors are also diagonal so since pmp is equal to lambda p which means that this operator is a diagonal operator since it only scales the projection similarly qmq which is equal to some scalar let's name it v per times q is also a diagonal operator therefore pmp and qmq are both diagonal operators in order to realize this operation of scaling we can see that let's take a diagonal operator represented by a matrix 2002 operating on a arbitrary operator 1 2 3 4 now when this diagonal operator operates on this matrix we get 2 4 6 8 which is twice 1 2 3 4 so in essence we can say that diagonal operators scales the operation therefore from this two results we can conclude that pmp and qmq are diagonal operators and since we have already shown that pmp and qmq are normal and following that they are also diagonal so it follows that m which is equal to pmp plus qmq is also a diagonal operator with respect to some orthonormal basis of the total vector space v hence we proved the spectral decomposition theorem that any normal operator m on a vector space v is a diagonal with respect to some orthonormal basis of v the converse of this theorem that is any diagonalizable operator is normal can also be easily shown from these operations now we can also write m in terms of projector p onto the eigenspace such that 
m is equal to summation i lambda i p i how this happened let's see so suppose m operating on a state psi where psi belongs to a vector space v gives us some lambda eigenvalue times psi and we know psi can be written as i times psi where i is our identity operator and we know we can write our identity operator in terms of our projection operator so we can say that psi is equal to summation i pi times psi which implies m times psi is equal to lambda summation i pi psi now by rearranging this and comparing we can say that m is equal to summation lambda i pi so i hope you have understood the spectral decomposition theorem